typical spherical video is represented in an equal rectangular projection, what you see here on screen. And the problem with equal rectangulars is that on the one hand, they show you a sphere on a plane, which is good, just like a Mercator map shows you a map of the planet on a flat screen. But just like a map of a flat planet on the screen, um, we have a big problem, which is something like Greenland, which is actually the size of Mexico, or the US, if I were to move it up here to the northern equator, um, you get these huge distortions. And these distortions are really bad for image fidelity and actual encoding size, which leads to some interesting alternatives. Yep, so when you make the image bigger, you basically get more pixels. And more pixels is bad because it makes your image download size too big. So what this stuff is based on, what we call the diamond plane projection, is based on an icosahedron. That's a 20-sided uh, die for you Dungeons and Dragons people. And so you basically start with the same idea of the Earth. If you notice in this... Let's go with Greenland here. Yep. Yeah, so Greenland is like already much smaller than it was in that first map. You got Greenland there, you got Mexico. It's about the same size, which is right for the actual size. So we're not blowing extra pixels on Greenland. So you somehow got to put this together in something you can stream down. So there, what Forrest has got is kind of actually what the diamond plane projection looks like when you see it flat. So it's kind of like those triangles of the world, but they're all packed down into a rectangle that we can stream well. And when we then turn that into a sphere, it looks correct. You wouldn't know that it was anything other than a sphere but it's a much more efficient way to stream the video file. About how much savings do we get? It's about 30% less. 30% less data, same image quality, or better image quality at the same data rate. So either way, Bonus. it's a win. It's a win, man.